here we go we have one more concept checker just to test your concept just pause the video and try to find out what is uh, what is the correct answer here pause the video and then match the answer okay the answer is a if you do not understand that one please do write us in our wechat discussion forum we will discuss over there here we go we have another concept checker in and that concept checker we will do it together first of all just pause the video and try to solve it that which curve represents what and then we discuss this together okay i hope you identify correctly so what is the average total cost here the average total cost is u-shaped curve so you can see that the u-shaped curve is similarly like p and c but remember the average total cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost so the formula says that average total cost will be bigger than average variable cost so b is average total cost right and what is average fixed cost the property of average fixed cost is that it's always falling but it never touches the <laughs> sorry x axis or zero so this is going to be average fixed cost average variable cost is below the average total cost so you can just see here here and also the here let me just explain it in the next one the model cost model cost is that curve which crosses the average variable cost and the average total cost at its minimum so you can see that a is called a um, uh, marginal cost which crosses both the every variable cost and average total cost so you see every total cost below every total cost there is average variable cost so let's see the answer here do we have an answer here okay up till now we have discussed the cost it's irrespective of its short run and long run so for many firms the Debian uh, uh, the division of the total cost between fixed and variable cost depends on the time horizon being considered. So, what is the tagline? Tagline is that in the short run, some costs are fixed, but in the long run, what is the tagline? That all costs are variable costs. Let me give you the example. So, you come to the Shanghai and you rent a place. For one month, the place rent you 5000 UN, right and in your agreement it is written then that the, then after one year for the second year it would be 5500 UN for third year it would be 6000 UN right so for one year it's like it's like fixed right you can say that it is fixed but when you see this long run perspective in one year two year three year you see that <coughs> sorry the rent is changing Similarly, we can say that all cost star becomes variable cost. So, because many costs are fixed in short run, but the variable in the long run of firms' long run curves differ from the short run, right? So, you can say that that the short run scenario is up, it is before this slide. Okay, now if, if you understand the <laughs> the concept of short run and long run, please. Pause the video and match your answer here. Then we discuss discuss it together. So your answer would be C. Why C? We were talking about the realistic one. So C is the firm can vary the number of workers it employs, but cannot vary the size of the factory because in short run you cannot increase the size of the factory. You cannot you cannot build a new factory or you cannot easily move the factory in one year or less than one year to somewhere else or expand the factory right the logical realistic answer is that you increase by an increasing number of workers and now the economies and diseconomies of scale what are those the economies of scale refers to the property whereby long run average total cost falls as the quantity of output increases it means it is that <coughs> sorry it is that part of every total cost in which we increase our number of output 
then our total cost is decreasing and then we this economies of scale it is that property whereby long run total cost rises as the quantity of output increases and the constant return to scale is that where <laughs> long run every total cost stays the same as the output rises so why there is the word of economy scale that is the miracle of total cost that if our output rises our every total cost long run every total cost decreasing and that is a miracle by producing more your total every to your every total cost will be decreasing so let's see this by a graph so in short run you have a u-shaped curve and u-shaped curve is called every total cost we have the year two we have year three so the firm will produce at its efficient scale so when you just uh, draw on these points you will find out a long run every total cost so this maroon line is <coughs> sorry long run every, every total cost let me just remove it so what is the economies and diseconomies of scale so that part of the long run every total cost curve in which you produce more your every total cost is decreasing this is called economies of scale constant return to scale is that when you increase more your cost stays the same while the diseconomies of scale is that when you produce more your costs are rising So here it is. Let me just that is the constant return to scale, and that is this economies of scale. Okay. So I have pasted a practical example to further test your a concept regarding economies and diseconomies of scales. So I just want you to pause the video and read the question thoroughly, and then choose the best answer. If your answer is a then you are in good shape why because this is just economies of scale why because every total cost is 105 when you produce three units and when you produce four units the every total cost is 120 it means every total cost increases with increase in output so this is called this economies of scales so here we go i would be uploading assignment three on our wechat group and our blackboard discussion forum as well so remember the instruction and notes while solving the assignment and remember remember that only handwritten or solution with e-pen will be acceptable please do make a one pdf file or you can take a picture of the assignment and paste it in word file which is dot doc or dot doc x file you can send it to me as well and Please let me remind it one more time respect the due date as assignment constitute 40% of your total evaluation of, for the subject. Here we go. We have successfully concluded our lecture on cost of production and I will be uploading all these slides on your Blackboard discussion forum and also on uh, WeChat group along with the book chapter as well and we're gonna have our zoom meeting as well and remember the next lecture is going to be our midterm so be prepared I already uploaded the practice questions on our blackboard discussion forum and also uploaded on WeChat group I hope you already downloaded that so there are a lot of questions over there so you can just solve it according to your own stamina uh, okay for the next lecture please wait for me until then Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay home.